but it's not moving other than my hand shaking a little bit. So it's total energy. It has temperature in the room, so it has energy from the temperature. Yeah. But the part that I added, I add. I put kinetic energy in and it stored it as potential. And then you dropped it. And then I dropped it and I released the potential and put it back into kinetic until it hit the table. And it converted all of its kinetic energy into thermal and thermal energy and sound energy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very interesting. Smart. So, we won't expect to find a velocity in there. No. But we do expect to find these units. Yay. So what could give us those units without putting a velocity in? No idea. Let's see. Aha, there it is. There it is? <laughs> yeah, you no cheating. <laughs> Okay, well, we know we need a mass, right? There better be mass yeah, still otherwise involved. It doesn't exist. Acceleration. What's acceleration? Uh, how do we accelerate that movie? What's that? What's the A stand for? It stands for acceleration. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I chose intentionally not to use little g. Why? That's what's in your formula ah, in your book. That's where it is. <laughs> G H H is which I could actually say is X. So you can have a potential energy. Max. Max. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, so this is another way of writing it that I'm familiar with. I'll remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so what are the units? X is a distance, right? Yeah. A is an acceleration. What are the units of acceleration? Units on acceleration. Um, meters per second squared? Yeah. Meters over second squared. So we have kilograms. So from the M. And we have meters from the A over second squared times meters, right? Yeah. Is that the same as this? Yep, yeah. Yep, 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 yes. yep, yep. So max has the same units as mm. <laughs> half. <laughs> half of mm. Yes, okay. Um, why did I choose this way rather than your book where it's G and H? Because you want it. No, I wanted to say that any kind of potential energy. Doesn't matter, you have an acceleration, little g always points what direction? Little g. That's acceleration due to gravity, so I could put little g here and it would be acceleration due to gravity. Down? Yeah, it always points to the center of the earth. <laughs> well, it points slightly off, but that's, we won't worry about that. Well, it still points down. <laughs> it points mostly down, 99.9% .9 down. Oh boy. Oh, they have and the one <laughs> <laughs> And H then would indicate the height above the ground, right? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. But you can have, a, so that would be the potential energy due to gravity. So I would actually have to write E potential G? due to gravity sub, as a subscript. Okay. But if I just want to write the energy, the potential energy, in general, it's just the mass times some acceleration, not necessarily towards the center of the Earth, times some distance. Hmm. Yeah. Right? The distance away from this point, where the acceleration and the distance are in the same direction. Got it. So that's always the potential. And so, the total energy, I should write it this way, E total, so E th sub T, then they could probably write a little different in your book. Do they even write that in your Maybe they don't, but I'm going to write it. Equals the kinetic energy plus potential energy. Okay? 
Oh, well, that makes sense. That makes sense, right? <laughs> so it's an object. <laughs> okay. So to describe, I just want you to kind of do a, a thought experiment. It's easy. A thought experiment. Okay. Think about sitting on a swing. Oh, thank you. Now picture yourself pumping and getting yourself going, and you've got a you're going really, really good. That's a lot of work. Okay. <laughs> so now I want to know. Tell me, when do you have Nothing. zero kinetic energy and o and only potential energy? Keep in mind that if once you get yourself going, so we'll add this in. Uh, you get yourself going. You get yourself swinging really well. Yes. But once you get that, you keep that amplitude. In other words, you stay at the same right. rate back and forth. Okay, so no kinetic So energy. you're not going higher and higher. You 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 reach the point where you just go up a certain point, come back down. Okay. Always the same height each time you go back and forth now. So you're maintaining E total as constant. It's not changing. Okay. There's the question is so my question is, when is this zero, and that therefore the potential energy equal to the total energy? When you are at the very top. Yes, on the yeah. very top of each swing. Yeah. The total energy equals the potential. When is the potential energy, and therefore the total kinetic energy equal? or the, the kinetic energy equal to the total amount of energy you have. When are just, when are these two equal? Actually, good question. You'd think you'd always have potential energy. Would you? No. If you put your coordinate system at the bottom of the swing, not at the ground. Of course, you have a potential relative to the bottom of the swing and the ground. Yeah. But if we move that coordinate system up to the lowest point where, where the bottom of the swing is when you first sit down in. If you move your coordinate system there, now that's zero potential. And when are you, during your back and forth, at that zero point? When do you have all kinetic energy and no potential energy? When you're at the lowest. When you're at the very bottom. Every time you swing through, at the very bottom. Your potential energy has gone to zero, and so all your energy is in kinetic energy. So can you tell me, when are you moving the fastest? Yep. <laughs> when are you moving fastest when you're swinging? At the bottom. Yeah. Because if you think about it, E total equals E kinetic. When is this number the biggest? If this number is smaller every other place, right? Because after you're not at the center, this number starts getting smaller, this one starts getting bigger, until it gets to a maximum where you stop. And then this is zero. Well, what will make this go to zero? What will make the kinetic energy equal zero? Your, did your mass go to zero? Can your mass ever go to zero? <laughs> You'll cease to exist if your mass goes to zero. So your the only thing in has. here, the, this is one half, well that's a number. That can't go You can't zero. make it go to zero because it's just a number. It's always there. The only thing that can go to zero is the velocity. Nope. So that means when you have all potential, this has gone to zero. And so as, as, to make this bigger, this number is a constant, that number is a constant. The only number that can change is the velocity, right? Mm -hmm. So since this has gone to zero, that means at the very bottom, this is as big as it can get because it equals the total energy, which isn't changing. Yeah. That means this must be as big as it can get because it's the only number that can make this as big as it can get. Because these two don't change. That's logical. That's logical, right? Fall. Okay. So that is kinetic and potential in general. So now we got to talk about them in particular the different kinds of energy. When is this class now? In 20 minutes? Okay. Is it 20 minutes? Yeah. 15. 15. 15. 15. Yeah, 15 minutes. 15 minutes up, yeah.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 